Welcome back to Morning Break. Now the American Truck Historical Society National Convention and Truck Show starts today right here in Reno. To tell us all about this weekend long event, we have Eric Reisland. Did I say it right? Reiselt. Reiselt. Yeah. Oh, it was so close. so close. As well as Miss Flatbed Red. We also call her Red. So the, you guys are members of the um, A. T H S, and that is just such an exciting thing to be a part of. So, Eric, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on this weekend? Sure. So we have the National Convention and Truck Show, that is uh, every year, but every four years it's here in Reno. So it'll be back in 27, but we're uh, trucks, all kinds of antique trucks of all sizes and shapes, lots of semis, but not just that, and uh, lots of people passionate about sharing the the hobby, the history of trucks and trucking and anything that goes with that. Which is so much fun because you mentioned it's not just big rigs, although if you guys are driving by the GSR anytime this weekend, you are going to see a ton of big rigs. You're right. going to wonder what's going on. Now yeah. you know. Um, but also those historical trucks that you might not see every day. Right, absolutely. Pickups, you know, old pickups mm -hmm. or the oddities, mm -hmm. mining equipment. There's logging, lots of logging equipment here. Mm, interesting. So yeah, it's very, very diverse. Mm -hmm. And so not only do you have a convention, which is geared towards kind of those truck enthusiasts and people in the industry, but there's a lot of fun for just your everyday spectators too. So Red, can you tell us about that? Oh yeah, so we've already been asked about people, or about what's going on by people <laughs> in the casino. Like, what is happening? They see our badges and uh -huh. they know something's going on. So if you're here and you see someone with a badge, mm -hmm. feel free to talk to them. <laughs> but there are trucks here that it might be the only one that was ever made, wow. or the rest of them have uh, don't exist anymore, mm -hmm. or this one's been restored and none of the other other ones are lots of things you'll never see anywhere else and there could easily be a thousand trucks potentially yeah. coming yeah, in this weekend. That's amazing. And mm -hmm. this is very family friendly. I mean, I oh, yeah. love, I mean, kids, boys especially, they tend to have those like big eyes when they get around a big truck where the tires are taller than they are and stuff. So it's very family friendly, right? Yes, right. definitely. Um, and there's, um, there's stuff inside there, vendors and things inside mm -hmm. too. Um, but everyone's welcome to walk through and if you see the owner with the truck they are more than happy <laughs> to talk about it and you might even be able to sit inside it if you ask you have to ask you have to ask i <laughs> love that yes. so red how did you get involved in uh the historical truck society how much time do you have <laughs> <laughs> i'm um, just curious especially with a name like miss flatbed red yeah so that. my husband's a board member for uh -huh. the ATHS. it is a nonprofit with like close to 20,000 members worldwide. Mm -hmm. And I started going to truck shows and I sat down, I draw trucks. So oh, that's, wow. that's right. my thing. I interview um, people about their trucks also. So if you can't make it, both of us are on social media, Rice Health's mm -hmm. Machine Works and Miss Flatbed Red. And we're trying to be ambassadors for the ATHS, right. posting a ton on social media this weekend. Which is so, so much fun because you guys are doing this every single year. But like you said, only four years that you come to Reno. So this is really special for us. It is, and, and not to take away, there's local chapters all over the country, mm -hmm. Canada, Australia, many others. So you already have local shows, mm -hmm. smaller going on. So that might be something yeah. for local people to tap into. Again, and, and maybe if you're not like, okay, trucks are not my thing, like, they're not my thing, I promise. But it, this still looks like an amazing event. Yes. Yes, and, and I was actually just at the GSR yesterday, um, and I just was fascinated by some yeah. of the beautiful trucks that you guys have there. Exactly. Come out. It's yeah. just fun. It's like a car show on steroids. <laughs> it's, it's, it's totally different. I tell people all the time, you don't have to have the interest. You just yeah. said it's it's just pretty to look at. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there was a picture that I had seen um, that was sent to me. I don't know if we were able to show it, um, but it was a picture of a hot pink truck that you guys have there. And I was like, now we're talking. That is my kind of truck. I'm sure. here for it. We're both from Ohio. Okay. So it is actually interesting for us to be on the West Coast this right. time mm -hmm. to see. The trucks are totally different out right. here. Okay. There are so many colors. That, like, right. It's very colorful. It <laughs> is. Yeah, these aren't your typical trucks that you're going to see on the roads. Mm -hmm. These are shiny. They're polished. They are ready to be shown off. Yep. Lots of history. Some mm -hmm. of these people have owned since they were new and are still driving. Others they've purchased. You know, there are guys from Ohio, Pennsylvania mm -hmm. with trucks here. And Australians yeah. who Australia. have just come to sp as spectators. Yes. Oh my God, yeah. that's like awesome. Over 60, I think, Australians have flown in just wow. for this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. so basically the truck show and convention, it's the place to be this weekend. It's you guys are going to be here through Saturday, is that right? Yes. Yep. All right, and if you guys want tickets, um, even just to be a spectator, you can go to their website, Colo T or go to our website, colotv.com, after the show, and that's where I've hyperlinked to your guys' website, along with your guys' social media, so that people can follow along, and yep. really all year round. Even if you can't go out this weekend, you can support uh, the American Truck Historical Society, because yep. you guys do a lot of great stuff. And tonight, there's a light show. 
from oh, dark fun. until 10, I think is the plan. Oh, which, so fun. everything will be lit up in the parking lot. Oh, It'll that's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, get your cameras ready. That's very Instagrammable. I love it. <laughs> All right. So thank you, Eric and Red. We appreciate you guys being here so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank All right. You. We'll be right back after this quick break.